Previously on Banjo Tooie. There we go, jeez. You never think killing a honeycomb with a frickin' washing machine would be that difficult. But... Okay, well, let's uh, get this over with. We'll go ahead and go to the first floor first. Start from the bottom, work our way up. That's normally a good system, I think. Okay, the first worker we need is actually right over here. I actually missed them. A washing machine, can you give my overalls a quick spin? Throw them inside and I'll give it a try. Is it safe? I don't want them to get ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy. We haven't caught all day. Aw, the rabbit feels so unsafe whenever his clothes is off. So yes, now we need to find the five other workers. Uh, there was one in the bathroom. So we'll go ahead and take care of that one next. another one on the second floor. I probably could have got that one first. <laughs> but uh, before I do, did I get all the ones I could on the first floor? Or... Yeah, I think I did. Okay, well let's go back to the uh, second floor then. No! Leave me alone, you jerk! What did I ever do to you? Okay, next rabbit, we're gonna go outside. Why outside? Well, why not outside? There could be workers outside. Use your sense of logic, people. Now we need to go find the other worker, which I believe... Okay, he's over here, I think. Okay, yeah, he is. He's hiding behind this wall, trying to escape. Better not stay out here too long, otherwise I'm gonna have to report to your boss that you're on a little coffee break on the other side of the factory. I know your working conditions are bad, but still, you're on the clock, buddy. Besides, you don't want to get too much in trouble here. Also, what does this do? Oh, right, okay. Well, that's on a timer, so I can't really do anything about that right now. But I will have to come back later. Okay, where's the other there? For a moment, I was like, Stairs, where are you? 
Where are you and what have you done with yourselves? Yeah, it takes care of that one. We only have two more. One on the third floor, and I think there's one on the fifth floor, too. The one on the third floor always gave me trouble for God knows what reason. It's really not that hard. You just gotta find where the correct doorway is. So, I believe, yeah, it's right there. Can I not jump over here? Oh no, there we go. But yes, the boiler plant. See, we need to use the washer to actually open those big metal doors, so... That's where we'll find a lot of these. Okay, one more skivvy worker, and that one is on the fifth floor. Oh, pfft. What are you doing here? You're not a rabbit. Dang it. You came out of nowhere. I'm sure you guys probably saw him, but... My TV is so dark, they hide in the shadows, like, perfectly for me. Uh, there is something on the fourth floor, too, but I'll wait on that. That might be something I'll have to come back later with. Maybe. I'll have to find out. Uh, floor five. We're looking for a door. That's the door we're looking for. And here's the last one. Also, I have no idea how the frickin' uh, washing their clothes makes their fur look more clean. I don't know, it always looked like whenever you clean their clothes, their fur also got clean as a result. Maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me again. That's seriously what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to check out floor 4 very quickly. Uh, I don't think there's really much we can do here, but there was a door that we couldn't access. Unless we had the washer, so that's why I'm kind of curious. can go this way, though. This takes us to the quality control, right. Is there anything I can do in quality control? No, I can. This is actually for something else. There is actually another way I can do this, but, um... Yeah, this is actually for later. Which means I probably should have uh, considered that before I came down here, but... Well, too late now. That will do it for the washer, though. For now, anyway. I think. I don't remember if the other uh, Mumbo transformation requires the use of the washer. I don't think it does. But otherwise, that was a pretty uh, quick and easy transformation. Took care of pretty much all that we had to do.
Okay, so should we do that now or should I check out the uh, other room first? Um, now let's take care of all the mumbo stuff first. Mumbo, I want to take over your chair. Now, while I sit there, you go around and do stuff. If only it worked that way. So now I need to go to the wall crushers and try to disable them. Because they're going to be an annoyance. And there's still stuff we can explore on the fourth floor, so... We might as well as get rid of that now. How do we climb up? Is it up here? Oh wait, no, I need to figure out... How do I get up here? Oh, okay. I guess I could have climbed up here. For a minute it looked like I couldn't have, but yeah, I can. Okay, do your thing, Mumbo. Belt crusher malfunction, initialize auto-fixing program, crusher will be reactivated in 45 seconds. Okay, you don't, you do not need the washer for this, because that's not enough time to actually do everything you need to do here. That's kind of a relief, because that would be a very short period of time. I really don't think you can actually switch again, in a timely fashion anyway. Because, yeah, ten of my seconds are already gone. Hell, now twenty of my seconds are already gone. Okay, let's go near the crushers again. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disable this thing. Okay, yep. Crushers are now switched off. And we can now be on our merry little way. Before I do go on my merry little way, though, I might want to go back and uh, use the split up pads, because I think there is something that will require another battery for in here. Maybe not, though. Well, no, I think there is something we'll have to do, but... There is something else we can do, too, so I should probably take care of that first. Okay, yep, here's the, uh... Cable room, which we will need a battery for. But, that is not the only thing we can do. We can go further up and find something else to occupy our time and our brains with. Also, there's the uh, floor 4 elevator. I do not think there is a way to get to the 5th floor from that elevator, though, so... Do not worry about that. Now if we go up here, we have the sewer access. Which means it's time for another first-person shooting game. 
Now, since I have figured out everything with the uh, ordnance storage, the uh, mini game we did in World 2, this is actually, I think, the hardest game to actually complete. Attention! The clinkers have invaded the sewer system and are blocking the vents. Neutralize them all before the air becomes toxic. So this is pretty much just round two of the dynamite thing. Only thing is, I do think this is harder because it's hard to find these guys. They're gonna be on the vents, and they're just brown pieces of crap. Like, quite literally, these guys are crap. Waste, fecal matter, whatever you want to call them, that's pretty much what they are. And you have to destroy them all. I don't really have any strategies for this, though. I'm sure there are good strategies, much like I had for the uh, TNT game. Kind of hug the walls, I guess, and make sure you do everything in that fashion before you uh, kind of go in further. But uh, honestly, it's still really hard to navigate this. I always have trouble doing this game. The one good thing about this version is if you don't do it within the time limit, you do actually have a little bit more time to actually uh, finish, because when the time gets to zero, your air starts uh, depleting, and you can use the rest of your time while you're still alive to try to find the last ones you're missing, but even then, it's not a whole lot of time. It's almost advisable not to use grenade eggs, just because, uh... You can use any egg to get rid of them. Okay. Let's see, what do we have in here? Ah, uh, another one. And another one. I'm more than halfway done, but that scares me, because... I feel like I've been all over the place already. I mean, that's kind of my problem with this game. You feel like you explored the whole place, and then when you get down to the last few, like, you have no idea where they are. One thing that I think would help is always try to be under the impression that there's two in every room. There aren't, but if you think that way, you may not miss one accidentally. I feel like that's the biggest kind of kick in the face, is when you actually miss one that was there, you just didn't see it on your way through. Okay, this is actually the way back out. Yeah, I've already done been through here. Okay, yeah, I'm running out of time already, I don't like this. Ouch. I still have five left, too. That's the bad part. Oh, look, there's one. Okay, maybe I haven't gotten completely lost yet. I feel like there's more in this one. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so now... We start losing air. I found one of them. <laughs> That's not going to help me, though. So, yeah, I guess we'll uh, have to keep doing this till I get it right, huh? Thankfully, there really is no penalty for dying, so... We can do this as many times as we need to get it right. Okay, let's try it.
Oh my god, how did I do that so perfectly? It just always seems like I went in the right rooms during that. Which, hey, no complaints. I'm glad that didn't take me too many tries. Usually takes me about three or four tries, but that one took me two. Well, hey, I approve of this. I approve very much. Thank you, video game, for approving. Or helping me approve, or whatever you want to call it. Now I just have to find my way out of here. I could just die. That would probably be the quickest way, but... Uh, surely I can figure out how to get out of here. Just gotta look for rooms that look familiar that I've been in multiple times. Oh god, hello. Hello, you're trying to kill me. Nice to meet you too. Okay, there we go. 